In ECW, it was Philadelphia, you know, they, they catch a bad rap, but man, not for me, because, you know, I always say Tom Lachlan was born in Yonkers, New York, but uh, Tommy Dreamer was born in Philadelphia. I wrestled Taz. Three days later, Paul Heyman calls me up. He's like, can you come to the studio? So I come to the studio. I drive two and a half hours. He lets me watch my match again. It's like, cool. And then he goes, no, watch this. There was four people who gave me a standing ovation and they were just clapping. I lost to Taz. He goes, I can do something with you. These people believe in you. There was only four people. I was like, cool, man. You know, here's this crazy Paulie. I don't really know you. Paul did a lot of things to help, help me try to, you know, get over. It was Taz who went to Paul and said, hey man, this kid is tough. Trust me, I dump him on his head and he just keeps on getting back up. And that's where we came up with the Sandman caning angle. An American citizen was gonna get caned for real in Singapore and it got national attention. So Paul decided to do loser of a match gets caned 10 times. And I lost the match, Sandman caned me. And the first couple of hits the fans were cheering and I was really getting caned in the middle of a ring. By like three or four, they were like, stay down, Tommy. About, about five and six, I watched the crowd turn. It hurt, you saw the welts on the back, you saw my body, my back bleeding, my arms bleeding. By like eight and nine, people, there was people crying in the audience and they hated Sandman and they were cheering for me. And that was pretty much one of my beginning defining moments of being accepted by the fans for being tough.